Next question is sexual temptation, dealing with sexual temptation. How can I overcome addiction to bad habits, pornography, using my phone, etc.? I have been defeated for so long. I am embarrassed to share it with anyone, and I feel it is impossible for me to overcome. Yeah, definitely, you should not confess your sins to human beings. If you are embarrassed, that's good. Don't confess it to man. we must confess our sins only to god not to some priest and not to any human being if you have sinned against that human being you hurt him you got angry with him then confess to him the only sin you confess to a man is what you committed against him but if it's other sin in which you committed against god in your thought or somewhere else you confess it only to god you watch pornography confess it to god and it doesn't matter how long you've been defeated see you have to understand that pornography is destroying your mind there's a phrase used nowadays in relation to food which has become very popular called junk food food which will destroy your health we want must eat food which is good for our health not good for our taste but good for our health and the healthiest people are the people who don't go by taste but say is this food good for my health you know for example you keep on eating only potato chips all the time that's not good for your health it's okay once in a while but there are many other things you need vegetables you need vegetables particularly and balanced diet so in the same way spiritually there are bad habits that can food pornography is bad food it's like eating junk food Imagine a person to me is like this. You go into the garbage bin, all the rubbish, or worse than the garbage bin. You go to the sewer, go to the toilet, an unflushed toilet. Can you think of an unflushed toilet? This is just being used by somebody. Rubbish, and you put your spoon in and eat. That is pornography. Absolutely no difference. Then digging into an unflushed toilet and eating what is there. Keep, keep keep this picture of my next time you are tempted to watch pornography. Think what you are doing. You are going to a toilet and are going to eat all the rubbish that is there, which somebody else has dropped in there. Or here is another thing that will help you to turn away from pornography. Here is a girl who is taking off her clothes and allowing some man to molest her. i presume that's what they do in pornography uh, movies or videos and to give you some pleasure you don't get any pleasure it's just in your mind by watching it physical pleasure is zero but you watch something and you enjoy it and that girl is stripping her clothes to get some money now picture that girl as your own sister okay your own respected valuable sister she wants to make some money and she has gone and gone there and taken off her clothes you say oh that's not my sister but well, that you should treat that person like your sister why are you watching that person who's taken off her clothes to make some money would you allow your sister to go and do that supposing your sister says i want some money and i'm going to uh, act in a pornographic movie what would you tell her you men what would you tell her supposing it's your mother doing it would you tell your mother go ahead mom go ahead sister you wouldn't do that don't you think that is girl is also somebody's sister how can you pay money or even without money in order i think they give it watch all this thing it's ruining your mind you're encouraging people young girls to be exploited like that among christians at least there must be a complete cut off from that and it's ruining your mind it taking you away from the lord it's like the lord jesus is here and pornography is here and pornography is calling you and jesus saying turn away from that and come to me and you are saying no lord i am going to watch this next time you are tempted to watch pornography remember this you are telling jesus no i don't want to listen to you i am going to watch this i don't care i can always ask you to forgive me aha uh-huh. so you want to take advantage of the lord's goodness like this i'll tell you something he will forgive you but if you keep on doing it you know what will happen every time you watch it it's putting a chain on you and the chain is going round and round and round and round i'll tell you one day 
you will not be able to be free from it. It will take a miracle to free you from it. You are putting a chain around you by watching pornography. So, for all these reasons, turn away from it. And above all, what I said earlier in the message, ask Jesus for grace to help you. Lord, I'm being tempted now. The best is shut off your phone. Close down your computer. Go for a walk. Go for a walk down the road. Go and meet somebody, some believer at that time. Run away. The Bible says, flee from temptation. There's only one way to escape temptation, and that is to run away from it. Flee from temptation is the command we read in 1 Corinthians 6. I don't have time to show you all of it. Flee, particularly immorality, 1 Corinthians 6, 18. He doesn't say walk away from it. Run away from immorality. It's like some fire burning, and the fire is coming towards you. What do you do? You don't go near it to find out how hot it is. You run away from it. Immorality is like a fire. 1 Corinthians 6.18 says, don't walk away from it. Run away from it. You follow that, your life will be blessed. And I believe you can be an overcomer and ask for God's grace. Lord, help me. Help me to overcome this, Lord. It's very, very important because if you don't overcome this, I tell you, you God's plans for your life will be destroyed, ruined. So I want to emphasize this. It doesn't matter how long you've been defeated. The grace of God can help you. You can do nothing without Christ. With Christ, you can do everything. You can overcome it. God bless you. Next question.